Hi and welcome back, Alex here and this is the second episode of video about file management in macOS. And in this video we're gonna test a bunch of file managers that I managed to install on my computer and we're gonna choose the right one. In the previous video we tried to maximize Finder's potential by properly configuring it for most convenient use, but even after that I realized Finder is not the best solution for me as I prefer dual pane file managers. Why it's simple because when we working with files usually we have source and destination of the files and those two locations we need to work with so in case if we use finder we need to navigate files in the one folder in source and then we have to open another window or tab finder and switch between them and that's not a super convenient way to do that because switching window in macOS it's not the best by default and I found dual pane file manager the best solution for me in that case so you every time you have two panels with the folders and it's so easy to do that so you have source and destination every time and let's start with a forklift it's a dual pane file manager with the most polished design looking cool and offering some unique features and and let's see what it has to offer let's run it and let's take a look what we can see here. The appearance of this file manager is blending with the macOS environment and it looks like as a native app. On the left side we can see a sidebar with a quick access to the places we want. So we can pin here folders, drives or even applications if you need that. This is dual pane file manager, so we can see left pane, we can see right pane. Here we can see where we are uh, and on the right side we can see synchronized folders. So if or network location, you can use this feature and you can choose how you want to sync. You can sync from left to right, uh, from right to left or both ways. So if you don't do backups yet that's good start point to start doing that because it's so important and if you don't want to lose your data you have to start doing backups i highly recommend to do that so in this uh, fancy interface we can see it also shows how much data will write into destination after we start the synchronization and this is pretty useful when we want to, for example, upload some data into FTP server or our web server, for example. And here's a we came close to another cool feature of uh, Forklift, it's connectivity. So if you frequently work with uh, different net network locations, probably this file manager, it's worth a try because using this file manager, you can connect wherever you want, FTP, SFTP, Amazon S3 and Dropbox, SMB, AFP and even VNC so you can remote connect and remote manage computer in your network using uh, this file manager. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good feature. Another I want to mention in this review, it's a battery name. So let's choose some folders and let's choose rename and here it looks familiar as a finder's uh, battery name feature but this is supercharged by regular expressions if you don't know what is regular expressions uh, just google it and see how cool is that feature uh, what else overall it looks pretty cool it have some cool feature and probably it's worth to mention another interesting thing I found when you press escape on any panel it's open quick access panel and it works also as a menu finder so you can find a menu you can run applications from here you can for example move and so on even if you can do whatever you want using shortcuts for example here's the set of shortcuts you can use for that i prefer another set of shortcuts another scheme to manage files uh, it's a classical scheme when you use uh, functional keys for example f5 to copy files f6 to move files and etc etc 
and I prefer this hymn more because it's like a close cross platform hymn and if you used to it you can use this hymn everywhere you can use in console file managers you can use on Linux uh, be it uh, midnight commander or the farm manager or total commander on Windows there's the same uh, set of shortcuts and I prefer that set of shortcuts much much more and one more feature I really like about forklift it's find and filter files for example here we have set of files with a mp4 and mov and if I want to do something only with the mov for example I want to create a separate folder for mov files I can here in this panel I can type mov and here we can see only mov files from this folder I can choose them and then I can cancel search and see we have highlighted only MOV and we can do whatever we want with those files it's pretty cool and for example if we want to just select files starting with the 34 let's type 34 and here's the only file starting from 34 and one more cool feature about that it's an application uninstaller so usually when you uninstall files uh, using like a drag and drop into the trash can you can leave some leftover in your system but using uh, forklift you can delete all of those related this application files for example we want to delete this LM studio app let's choose move to trash and shows us what files related this app we can delete also that also pretty useful feature I think worth to mention that forklift support themes and in the settings you can find some predefined themes this default is matching with the macOS style but there are some more for example this one Dracula looks pretty cool and you can also add your custom theme and next let's talk about price if we go to the official website it's telling us for single user it costs twenty dollars for family it's thirty dollars and for small business it's about seventy dollars uh, but you can also use forklift as part of setup subscription and what is setup setup is basically service that provide access to many many apps for ten dollars per month so and the next file manager in our today's review it's pathfinder and this guy is here because only this file manager can entirely replace finder in your system so if we go to the settings we can see here these uh, toggles hide finders desktop and quit finder when pathfinder launches and moreover it can be launched at login and it can be set as default file manager it's actually pretty cool because all other file managers work in addition to finder but pathfinder can replace finder it's cool and it's unique feature of this file manager it looks pretty good and it looks like a native macOS app but it's looks a little bit busy because here we can see this sidebar with a quick access and we also have this uh, quick access menu to our uh, favorite folders but we can uh, customize it uh, as we want and dual pane file manager or we can do it one pane file manager wherever you want but it looks pretty cool it's basically dual pane finder that's me somebody looking for it it also have some cool built-in features and one of those features it's a size browser so basically it's disk analyzer and it can show you what files take most space on your hard drive it's actually cool because i use for these standalone applications like daisy disk or clean my mac but it's already here and you can use and you can quick take a look on what take most space on your drive the pathfinder have the same functions as a forklift like a folder sync so we can sync to folders or batch rename files with uh, uh, regular expressions 
and let's talk about price and if we go to the official website it's telling us it's subscription only and for one year it's $30 or $3 monthly so next two file managers I combine into the one section because those file managers looks almost identical in appearance and in functionality this is commander one and DC commander both of them is two pane file managers with a classical shortcuts layout when you use functional key for manipulating files and I really like that scheme and initially that's exactly what I'm looking for but here's the problem none of those two file managers not looks like native macOS app it's not fit into the macOS interface maybe commander one is fit a little bit more uh, natively but here's the problem uh, before we observe uh, forklift and price for forklift was about $20 uh, but price for those two file managers uh, for example for commander one it's $30 and price for uh, DC commander it's $40 and I don't see any reason to buy any of them because I couldn't find any advantages over forklift except maybe this classical scheme of manipulating files so saying that we moving forward so on the next file manager in today's lineup it's QSpace Pro and probably this one is most customizable file manager you can find just take a look here we have 12 different layouts you can choose from and you can also save presets of those panels to different workspace and then you can switch them so you can for example save for different workflows and that's actually pretty cool and if we switch to the two pane view and probably looks like Pathfinder it also have this uh, drop over like feature where you can drag and drop uh, some folders or files and then you can do something with them but real advantage of this file manager this is a huge amount of settings basically you can change wherever you want and you can customize this file manager as you need just take a look on this amount of settings it also work with um, different servers so you can connect your network attached storage or FTP or wherever you work with it also work with iCloud and as previous file managers it also can sync folder and batch review but if you really look for customizable file manager this guy is really worth to take a look and let's take a look on price if we go to the official website there's two ways you can buy this file manager you can buy directly from official website for $14 now it's on sale actually and you can buy it from Mac App Store but Mac App Store have some limitations and what's the limitations buying from official website you can get free trial so you can try this file manager before purchase it it's actually pretty cool so cool file manager really customizable I think it's worth to take a look on this guy folders that's the name of the next file manager and if you recently switch from Windows and you really miss Windows File Explorer so this file manager is for you and the main feature of this file manager it's a tree style quick panel so here we can see we can unfold wherever we want as it works in windows and that's probably it that's the main feature of this file manager oh i also forget a uh, combination of uh, command x uh, cut and paste also work in this file manager so if you need that you can buy it from app store file site this file manager doesn't have these fancy features like a folder sync or bulk file renaming but it can surprise you in a different way so let me show you what i mean here we can see two pane file manager but we can continue add panels we can add more to the right then we can add below then we can split this then we can add more and we can go really crazy and we can create setup really as we want and then we can save this setup and we can name this setup test and then we can switch between different different presets like that like that 
and it's really cool because we can create different presets for different workflow and really quick switch between them. Another cool feature about this file manager, I really like how search work here. So for example, let's try to find all the zip archives in this folder and when we start typing it immediately start filtering so then we can select all of them copy switch to another panel find right panel and then we can move files into another panel or we can create a new folder and move files into the newly created folder it's slightly different approach but it's really interesting idea and let's talk about price and let's go to the official website and let's see if we try to buy this file site it's 29 dollars and it's lifetime license but also you have 30 days of the trial it's a free trial version and it also available for windows and for mac os really interesting file manager to try the next interesting app in our today's review it's shade and shade it's not a basic file manager it's a hub for your digital assets it's more useful for content creators so let me show you how it works you can add folders with your assets to the shade and then magic begins it uses uh, ai models to analyze and organize your assets and it also can add uh, auto generated tags and combine your asset into the collections so you can easily find them in future when you need them um, this app you can use for free if you want to organize up to 5000 uh, assets but if you want to get more you can uh, buy subscription and for ten dollars per month you get all those features and like a face recognition uh, transcription for your videos and actually pretty cool so you can find right video fragment just type in text that's so good and you can work independently or you can work as part of a team if you work for example in studio that's actually interesting to be honest shade deserves full-fledged review and I'll probably uh, do it in future but for now it's just a brief overview what this app can do so we added our assets and our our assets is analyzed and let's see what we can see on this quick pane so here we can see all the connected uh, volumes our connected uh, index truths uh, we can also connect photos library and here's the audio here's the video it also works with the 3d uh, models materials texture maps uh, with the graphic files and documents so let's try for example open our audio files and if you click on audio files you can take a quick look of this audio file and if you double click you can see all the information about these audio files you can also add add a generated description for this file and you can choose category and that's so cool so you can easily organize all your audio files and let's see videos if we double press on videos we can see all the information about this uh, video asset here we can see other generated tags and moreover we can see color palette of this video file and we also can copy this color just clicking on this circle that's so good if you need for instance uh, to find some assets from digital stocks you can also do it directly from shade here's we can see this stock search and all of those stocks it's connected to uh, shade so you can just uh, finding in all of them using one query it's so good so if you like this video file you can uh, take a quick look and you can save directly from here that's so nice that's so cool i like that here's the shade board and the shade board it's like a whiteboard so you can make a brainstorm or 
make a structure of your project i really like that it's so cool so you can like uh, rearrange your assets and you can even generate uh, pictures using shades so it's i don't know actually what's the model it uses but here we can see uh, pre-generated some stuff and you can make a prompt right here and generate uh, pictures right from here uh, another interesting feature you can get quick access to your assets uh, from any ample here uh, DaVinci Resolve is open and if I press command shift K I can get access to shade and I can easily find for example cat in my video assets or I can easily find uh, assets from digital stocks and I also can take a quick look and then I can save or I can just make a drag and drop right to the timeline that's so cool so if you're making content it's definitely worth to check this app so it make uh, management of your assets much much easier and finally we got to the my favorite file managers and there's two of them it's a uh, fman and uh, martha and i use them back to back and i haven't decided yet which one i like better because fman a uh, little bit more functional because it has more plugins you can install but martha it looks a little bit more fancier to my taste but both of them it's classical dual pane file manager with a keyboard approach uh, it's super fast it's a main benefit of them you can do simple tasks much much faster than for example finder and let's do a comparison between finder and for example fman and let's do simple thing here's download folder and let's try to find all the zip files in this folder and uh, move to another folder how we can do that so here's the search and let's try uh, just to find all zip files and it turns out you cannot do that because by default finder use uh, recursive search so basically it's not showing only zip archives into the downloads folder it's going deeper deeper into the subfolders and it turns out you, you cannot perform this simple task using finder but let's switch to the fman and let's see how we can do that using this file manager so for example here we have open download folder if we not we can just can press command p and quickly uh, switch to download for the folder because I switched to this folder many times and it's already there so now uh, common P it's uh, like a quick access panel or you can using this uh, quick access panel uh, going to the some folder just typing path and it's so quick uh, so let's try to uh, find all the zip files in download folders and we can just start typing zip and in real time it's filtered all the zip archives in download folder and then we can uh, select all of them command a and then we can switch to the another panel uh, choose folder where we want to move those files for example here we can choose all of them and we can press f6 and we can move all the files so quick it's so fast and that's why i like that's why i really like those file managers one more super useful feature in both of those file managers in fman and in martha it's a flat view let's say we have this folder uh, ultimate free sound effects with uh, tons of subfolders and each folder contains uh, some sound files but let's say we want to see all of those files and we want to do something with those files so we can choose this folder and then we can open command menu and type flat view and here we can see all the files from folders and subfolders and then we can find files for, for instance mp3 and we can select all the mp3 files from this 
uh, folder. And the Martin works the same way. So let's say we open this folder. Let's open command menu and let's choose flatten. And it works the same way. So let's try to find, for example, AAC files. And here we can see all the AAC files. That's so useful and save a lot of time so you don't need to go into the each folder and check files there. And let's talk about price. So basically you can use both of those file managers for free. So if you're on Fman and you don't have license, it's just a pop-up menu where you can, can press button B and continue to use it. It's like an infinite trial, but if you want to buy a license, uh, you can do it for $39. And also you can use Marta for free, but if you want to support developer, you can become a patron.